everybody. Steven Jonder here from GunnaGeek.com and from Better Podcasting here with a little bit of a different video than I'm used to doing. If you've kept your eyes on Guinea Geek gear, you might have noticed that I do have a Rodecaster Pro in my possession. That's right. There is an unboxing video on the channel if you haven't checked that out. But what you might not know is that I've actually tried my best to keep away from a lot of the information on the Rodecaster Pro. I've really only looked at a couple of quick things over on the Road website. I haven't looked at videos. I haven't looked at tutorials. I've tried to keep away because what I wanted to do with this device was really see how easy it was to use out of the box. Was it intuitive? And so that's what I want to do with you today is I've got my microphone set up here. I've got a camera set up so that we can look at this together. This is the Rode Procaster and it's going into the Rodecaster Pro so that we can walk through the setup, basically trying to see if I was trying to use this, this is supposed to make my life easy. How easy is it? So let's do this together. Now I will note, yes, I have experience with various hardware, various podcast stuff. So obviously I have a bit of a leg up. I'm more than just Joe average, but again, I have not looked at any tutorials and I want to see how easy this is to figure it out. So let's have a look at this together. And what you'll notice here first is that I've actually got this left as it was at the end of the unboxing video. I've also got a micro SD card plugged in on the back there. So let's go ahead and pull off this part here together so that we can go ahead and uh, get started. I just again wanted to show you what it was like out of the box. All right, there we go. So let's turn it on. There's a switch. You can kind of see that right there. There is a switch. Let's go ahead and turn it on together. Uh, oh, I don't have the power on. There we go. Now let's turn it on together. Or not. There we go. All right. So. Right away here, it looks like it's going to ask me to set the time. I know it's a little bit washed out, but that does say 12 hour or 24 hours. So right now, as I set this up, it is in my time, 10, I will leave it on 12 hour, 10, 30, two, and it says AM or PM, and it's AM. Oh, it's 1033 now. There we go. And we go next. And it's asking what day? Well, we are recording this on the 29th of December. And I kind of weird to starting at 2000. Why would they not start the year they manufactured it? That's really odd. All right. So 29th of December, 2018. Then I can go ahead and press OK. And we can see here, it's showing that there's a card. And there's nothing going on here on the levels. Okay, so we will see what happens. I do have a microphone plugged into one. Jack one, two. No, not working. So, oh, I know why, because let's have a look. There we go. So now we can see... That is the levels from my Rode Procaster microphone that I have plugged in to channel one. And you can see the left and the right there. So having a look, what else can we do here? It looks like, and I haven't looked at any videos because I wanted to see what this was like out of the box, see what experience somebody would have without really reading the manual. So you see as I push these colors here, I uh, believe that there's going to be audio coming out of that. Let's go ahead and click on settings. There we go. There's settings. Okay. So now we're on the settings and it looks like we can go into hardware. And we go micro SD card. And it tells me that there's 10 hours and 59 minutes capacity. Now I pulled this micro SD card out of a Zoom H1. So obviously the formatting must be correct. 
because it's not asking me to format, but if I wanted to, I could just slide to erase the card. Let's go ahead and go back. Let's go ahead and go under advanced. So you can see this says screen, that says control. So if I want, I can reduce the brightness. So now it's reduced or I can increase it. And then the controls, I believe, is going to be the lights. I don't know if you can tell that, but you can see all of these lights here are adjusting the brightness as I adjust that up and down. That's a nice feature to have. Limit maximum volume. So I don't know if you noticed that when I pulled this off here, but this actually says here, um, and if you saw the unboxing, you might have noticed that it actually says that it's limited. The headphones are limited so that uh, you don't hurt your ears. And you can also do the opposite and increase the volume range. Under Bluetooth is where you can go ahead and pair a device. So if I wanted to do that, I definitely could. But we'll save that for a walkthrough. Again, this is just sort of my initial experience as I go ahead and pull it out of the box. And then info is going to be talking about the firmware and where I can adjust the date and time, as well as do a factory reset. Let's go ahead here and, um, oh, there we go. We've missed the audio tab. Okay, so under audio, it looks like we have different options here for each channel. So look. There's the Rode Pod Mic or the Rode Procaster, the Rode Broadcaster, NT1, a whole bunch of different options there. And you've also got the setup and the type of voice. Again, we'll go through all of this here and it might be hard to see. So let's go ahead and so because I know it is hard to see, let's go ahead and back up. Go back to my settings here. Uh, where was that? That was hardware? Yes. Advanced. Let's turn the brightness down because I can still see that and that'll make it easier for you, you to see there. There we go. It's pretty faded for me as I'm looking at it, but we'll go ahead and turn that brightness down just so it's not washed out. So going back in here, you can see it says medium voice, medium, deep voice, soft, high voice, strong. And under the setup, you can see the levels, whether it needs phantom power. And then under the advanced, this is where we have all of the, it looks like, options. So compressor, deesser, ducking, all of that sort of stuff there, as well as some other options. So overall, it's looking like it's pretty straightforward out of the box to get configured. Again, we will walk through all of these options in a future proper walkthrough video. But I did just want to, out of the box, take a look to see what was required during the setup. I can go ahead and I'm guessing press record and now it's recording right there and I can go ahead and add markers. So there you go. That's going to go ahead and wrap it up for this video. Please keep your eyes on gonna geek dot. Hold on. I th actually, I think I know what we did wrong with that. Those lights. Let's take a look here and see. Uh, yes, I think it's because I don't have this fader up. Let's turn this fader up and give this a try. Yes, it looks like it's working. You can see it functioning now. Okay, so there we go. Now that we figured that out, I'm so glad I figured that out. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Keep your eyes on youtube.com slash gear and on guinnageek.com because I will be posting more information with this as I try this out. Bye.